Hey guys, it's Ange here and I'm back to do my two month postpartum update. So as of yesterday, I'm officially two months postpartum and I thought I'd give you guys a quick little update about my mental and physical health. So uh, mentally and emotionally, I'm feeling fantastic. I didn't get any postnatal depression or baby blues, which I'm so grateful for. Um, I don't know if that's because we wanted Lily for such a long time and she finally came and now I'm just so happy that she's here and she's healthy and that she's just you know, gracing her us with her presence each and every day. Um, or if I just was lucky enough and not got any of the um, hormonal imbalances, which is what, you know, postnatal depression, you know, is stemmed from in the first place. So that's me emotionally and mentally. Physically, I am back to my pre-pregnancy weight, which was about 30, uh, which was about 73 to 74 kilos um, but in saying that I do have another 13 kilos that I do want to lose but um, my body has definitely changed shape and I have noticed that because all my pre-pregnancy clothes don't seem to be fitting me or if they do fit me that is sitting really really oddly on my body so uh, I definitely have changed shape and probably some size as well but I haven't actually have gone to the shops to buy anything just yet because I'm waiting to save a little bit more extra money and lose a few more kilos before I go and do a big shopping spree trip um, to buy some new clothes so when I do do that I'll definitely let you guys know and show you what I bought but at the moment I'm basically living out of a very small wardrobe selection so because I am best breastfeeding I basically have to pick my wardrobe accordingly to that and at the moment I'm basically wearing just some breastfeeding singlets which come in black and white and that seems to be the only colors I can find I know there is a lot of more you know colors varieties online and in the shops what's meant to be there but every time I go online and order you know go to order different colors it always says that it's out of stock or um, you know limited stock and not in my size and things like that so that's a bit painful and a bit frustrating but um, and that seems to go in the shops as well every time I go to the shops there's always it's, it never seems to be any other colors but black and white so that is the colors I seem to be wearing a lot at the moment, which I don't seem to mind because I do wear, I tend to wear a little bit of black all the time anyway, but I like to have variety in clothes, which I just don't seem to be having at the moment. This seems to be the breastfeeding singlets. Now, in saying that they are very comfortable and they are very easy to feed in, but um, like I said, it just seems to be a bit boring each and every day wearing the same thing in and out and not having variety. So I am looking forward to doing that. Now, um, what I have been eating, things like that, throughout my you know weight loss journey and things like that to get back down to my pre-pregnancy weight is basically what I ate through my whole pregnancy. Now, I didn't really change my eating habits. I just basically went a little bit healthier in each thing and ate a lot more vegetables and a lot more fruits. And each you know week, I had two meat-free nights, so which was quite easy for me because I don't usually eat red meat anyway. And so that's what I've been sticking to through this whole you know thing. You know, journey but I have been eating a little bit more because obviously like I said I am breastfeeding so I have been eating a little bit more calories to build that milk supply up and keep it there um, but I will take some little you know footages of my meals and things like that and make a little food diary for you guys um, if anyone's interested in looking at that I'm not too sure but um, basically it's for me to look back on and give me some give myself some motivation so that is another thing that I will be um, doing in the next couple of weeks just, you know, to try and, you know, keep myself motivated and going with this weight loss journey. Now, another thing we have been doing, which I don't know if I've mentioned or not in this video, is I've been walking each and every day um, with Lilia. So Lilia goes in the pram when we, basically when she starts having like a little witching hour, I pop her in the pram, we go for a walk and she loves it. She seems to calm down and she goes to sleep while we have our walk and you know that this seems to be a great time for us when we go out. Now as you can see I'm looking over here a fair bit because she's actually fast asleep in the swing. Um, so that's why I'm looking over there a fair bit just to make sure that she's okay but um, I have been doing that and I also have been going back to the gym now. I've only started the gym two weeks ago and I've only been going back to one class a week just because um, where my gym is, Lily is actually a little bit too young to go to their little daycare crate for the hour that I go to the gym. So um, hopefully she will be able to start that up fairly soon. But at the moment, like I said, she's a little bit too young. So I can only go to one or two classes a week. And that's when my husband can look after her. So I've been going to a Thursday night class at 7 o'clock, which is a body pump class. Now, 
before I got pregnant, I was doing body pump and swimming a fair bit, and that seems to be the best thing for my body and for the PCOS that I have to either tone up and lose weight. So I'm looking forward to doing that a lot more when I can get her into the crèche there. Um, and obviously, when it comes to be um, summer, I'm planning to get one of those little ring tubes that the babies can sit in the middle of them, and I can take her into the water and do some laps that way. And that's another thing that I'm really looking forward to doing. So, but other than that, I will show you my belly now and. Um, now I won't show you any of my bare belly shots because I did get a few strep marks while I was pregnant with Lilia at 38 weeks and I just don't feel comfortable showing you just yet. I have got a full photo though like I have taken of my bare belly and obviously if it does get any better as the time goes on I will put the two comparison photos up but at the moment it's just not a good sight to look at so I will show you my belly with my clothes on and I will talk to you guys next time. Okay bye guys. So here is my belly from the front and here's my belly from the side. So as you can see, I still have this like little pouch here that I really want to lose. And here's from the other side. And that is it.